Hi there, so today we're talking about compound interest and different investments and we're going to use our TVM financial package and our GDC. And in doing so, we need to get some of these values. And so when we have, when we go to it, we go to apps and it's finance. They all come with it and it's the TVM solver. And so we click on that and we have all these values here, okay, which I've put here in the table. So on a test, if you're using your TVM solver, you must create this table and tell what values you're in. And so Lisa's going to invest 10000 at 8% compounded per year. Okay, so, and she's going to do it for 10 years. So when we go through it, N is the number of payments made in total. So how many times is this going to compound, or how many payments in total are you going to have, depending upon if it's a credit card or this? So it's, we're just going to do it for 10 years. It's not monthly. It just happens once every 10 years. So it's compounded yearly. So we have 10 years in total. So that's fairly straightforward. I is the interest rate. And we put it in as a percentage. So I know my interest rate is 8. I don't put 8%. I don't put 0 0.08, but as the full percentage. Now, these ones here are kind of the tricky part. The present value is, well, the value of the investment is 10000 That's the value. But if you think about it, it left my pocket to go to the bank for the investment. If it leaves my pocket, it means it is a negative value for this calculator. It doesn't mean that I don't, I, I don't, it's not that I owe it, but it's no longer on my person, and so I have to give it to someone else, so I, in essence, it is a negative. There are payments. In this case, there's no monthly payments. I'm not adding more money. So that one is zero. That's my regular payments. They don't exist. And I am looking for the future value. So this is the one I'm looking for. And then I'm going to look at the number of payments per year. Well, I'm only going to do get the compound yearly. So there's one payment coming out a year. It's going to be compounded once a year, okay? And so I put one payment in and it compounds once a year. And I put the payment in at the beginning. So I put it at the beginning of the year and then it gets interest all year long. At the end I get interest and so on and so on. And I just realized I just, oh, that is 10,000, there we go. Um, so now I'm gonna put these values into my calculator. As we said, so 10, eight, negative, 10,000. This is zero. I'm going to come back to that one. That's one, and that's one, and I need to make it at the beginning. So I hit enter on that, and then I go back to my future value, which is what I'm looking for, and this is kind of a new one. You see how it says green solve? I'm going to go alpha, enter, which is a solve button. And so in that time Lisa will have she will have twenty one thousand five hundred and eighty nine dollars and twenty five cents this is how much money she will have in total for this particular investment at this percentage rate for this many years and our uh, calculator will do most of the work for us knowing what to put in is the tricky part